welcome back let's do question 1a3 solve for x leaving answers correct to one decimal place if necessary so this is a quadratic inequality so we have to we have to write our inequality in standard form before we continue with our calculations so let's distribute x x times x x squared x times negative 1 negative x so it's x squared minus x and then we transpose 20 to the left hand side become negative 20 then less than 0 so now we have to factorize and get our critical values so the factors of negative 20 that can give us negative 1 should be negative 5 and positive 4 so we say x minus 5 x plus 4 less than 0 let's just check negative 5 times positive 4 is negative 20 and then negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1 okay it's correct Our critical values x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0 so our critical values are x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 4. Yeah, take note, these are not the solutions, it's just the critical values. So we have our x-axis, y is equal to 0 on your x-axis. And then we have the critical values, we have negative 4 here, x equal to negative 4, and x equal to 5. Now, we're saying, where is this function less than 0, below the x-axis. So it's here, it means between negative 4 and 5. It's an interval between negative 4 and 5. That's where the graph is below the x-axis. Less than 0 means below the x-axis. Our solution is, x is greater than negative 4 but less than 5. So that's the solution there.